All right, we've all got something that we're afraid of, right? Whether it's clowns, flying, spiders, some of us afraid of the dark. So this week on Fox 6, we're all facing our fears. And today, Rob sharing his fear <laughs> of needles. Yeah. I decided uh, what better way to tackle my fear than by getting poked with several tiny needles. Yes, acupuncture. All right, David, so obviously I'm here to kind of test my fears, but I'm, I'm probably not alone. People are a little bit afraid of the whole concept of acupuncture. Yeah, you find that to be one of the common barriers. Um, most people are afraid of the needles uh, because they're most used to hypodermic needles. They're hollow, they're thick, they're serrated, they damage tissue when they go in. Acupuncture needles are completely opposite. They're thin, they're about the width of a cat's whisker, mm -hmm. and uh, they're inserted practically pain-free. Uh, they're really that thin, like a cat's whisker? They're very thin, yes. Well, I will take a big, deep breath and try to uh, get my fears <laughs> under control here. We'll take their socks and shoes off and get as relaxed as possible. So normally I'd lay back, but yeah. because I have to work the microphone, I'm just going to sit up here. Sure, fair enough. So you're experiencing a bit of pain in the shoulder right now? Yeah, it's kind of uh, more of a joint pain than a muscle pain. More of a joint pain than a muscle pain, okay. And the needle is, again, completely sterile. It's used one time and then disposed of. It's used to generate circulation, okay. yeah? Because the... And now do you like slowly put this in, or is it just like a big wham? It's, it's quite a, a quick method. So we're going to insert the needle now, uh -huh. okay? We're going to do a little grouping of three, just like that. The needle's in. Get out of here. Yeah. I didn't feel that at all. That's right. No fear necessary, right? <laughs> yeah. If I wasn't watching, I wouldn't know you did anything at all. Yeah. Now, how long would you leave the needle in? Uh, we usually typically leave it in for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. And uh, we, we usually turn down the light, let people relax a little bit. Right between the eyes. Right between Seriously, the eyes. right between the yeah. eyes. That's like that. That must be a good look. Let's do that, okay. and then we'll just see. Mm -hmm. I mean, we obviously, one treatment might not yeah. cure everything. Yeah. I can actually already tell you that I feel an improvement Fantastic. in the condition, which is weird. It, Any excuse for a nap, too, right? That's it. <laughs> now, the other issue, of course, is, is education. As people learn more about something, whether it's a fear of needles or absolutely. fear of acupuncture, absolutely. that fear tends to be lessened, and uh, obviously yes. there's something you can help with. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of people are apprehensive to get acupuncture because they don't know much about it. So we're generating a, a, a reaction through the nervous system to generate circulation. All right. Hold on, we're gonna take those needles out now. <laughs> okay. All right, most of them I don't feel. Well, I gotta admit, there is some improvement in the shoulder. Already. Like right now, I would say I have no pain whatsoever. Excellent. I think with the fear of needles, I, I would think it was somewhat confronted. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would say I was overcome, right. but it was definitely something that I realized that having the needle under my skin for a prolonged period of time, which is my biggest problem mm -hmm. with, you know, giving blood or having mm -hmm. blood drawn for tests, uh, it wasn't as big a deal as I thought because mm -hmm. I was aware of a couple of the needles mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. as time went along, I did get that urge to like get this thing out of me, right, but right. It, you know what? It kind of faded. <laughs> you look good walking out of there. Yeah, you know, it really helped my shoulder. I don't know whether it overcame the fear, but yeah, it did help. Baby mm -hmm. steps, like the doctor said. And a big special thanks to the folks at uh, the Acupuncture and Holistic Health Center, which is uh, down in Bayshore. Good. Did, yeah. It didn't hurt, did it? No, there was no pain with the acupuncture at all, but a couple of them, you, most of them you can't feel at all. You wouldn't know they were there if mm -hmm. you didn't watch doing, which I wouldn't imagine the average patient does. But I could feel a couple of them, and the ones I was aware of, after about five or ten minutes, that kind of phobia. Start of, messing yeah, with it's you. Just like, it's the same thing as when I have to have an IV or when I have a blood draw. It's just like, get it out from uh, under my skin. Get it out, yeah, get it out, get it out. Yeah. I give you credit. Yeah, well, Good I for you. survived it. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, All right. Fears. Now.